very pleased. Uh, when I brought him to Everton from Standard Edge, he was someone who we, not many people knew an awful lot about. Uh, we'd seen him playing a few times in the Champions, well, in, in Europa League games. He was against Liverpool, actually, one of the games we watched him play. I remember going over to watch him and coming away thinking, wow, you know, this boy's got a real chance. And he never, never let us down when he came to Everton. I think he's continued to improve. Uh, he's well known in the Premier League, experienced in the Premier League now. Can do several different jobs, play different positions, can score goals, can be effective in different areas of the field. So I'm hoping that if he continues to improve the way he has done in his early part and does the same again at Manchester United, we could have a, a really top player in our hands. It was an area of the field where we felt as if we had to strengthen, we had to try and get uh, another central midfield player. But you know, with Marouane being able to play a bit further on as well, it can give us different alternatives at different times if we required. But uh, you know, I think he's matured as well. Every time I go to see Belgium, you know, they talk about the great Belgium team just now, the international team. But I've got to say, every time I've gone to watch Belgium, I always come away thinking that Marouane Fellaini is the best player. And uh, I, I continually do that every time I go to watch them. We had chosen to do it the way we did because we wanted to try and get Leighton Baines. And we didn't want to give up on Leighton Baines right to the last minute. And uh, we felt the best way to do that was to try and keep the two deals together. And only at the last minute did we split the deal. So... Uh, that was the way we chose to do it. I talked with the, with the manager because it's a big opportunity uh, for me to join uh, one of the biggest clubs uh, in the world. And uh, you know my, uh, my objective, you know, I want to, to win a trophy. I play for football for this, so with my United I have a big chance to win uh, something. I, I, I need to work hard for, uh, for my place. You know, a lot of good players in, uh, in the club. So I need to work hard. I need uh, to show, of course. Uh, so I need the time. So I keep, I keep uh, focus, and uh, I want as well to 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 help to help the team, and uh, and I give uh, everything for for this. Everton is a great. Club. It was a great club for me. It was a uh, good teammate. Uh, Good moment with uh, with Everton, so I respect the the fan. But it's the time for me to, to leave, to join a, a big club, and uh, thank you for, for for Everton to to let me to let me go. I see him now getting ready for it. I've watched him train this week, and it's been it's been interesting watching him train, because you know he's adapted very quickly, but he's been needing the training. He's been needing work. He's been you no know, change of people. He's been training with. And, uh, you know, I can tell in the, that when there's a young footballer, he's, he's sort of completely humble with, his, with the position he's in. But also, he's not out of place. He's not been out of place this week in training, that's for sure. And uh, I think the players would tell you that as well. So from that point of view, you know, I'm hoping that he shows that and he can show that. He'll not be rushed. He'll not be, we'll not be pushing him hard. Uh, but we'll obviously, because of the numbers we've got in the central midfield, we'll be getting him involved this quite quickly. But uh, he's someone who... As I said before, I think can, can be an asset in a different way. He'll be a different type of player at Manchester United.